Welcome back to Obscure Gaming, where I look at the obscure of gaming, which is usually a bootleg of some kind, but today isn't, as I decided to play something genuinely good for a change. Mega Man Battle and Chase for the PlayStation 1, a racing game that you may or may not have heard of. Uh, it being released only in Europe and Japan could have something to do with that, because allegedly Capcom didn't think the game would sell well in America, uh, with it being tossed aside in favor of Mario Kart 64 and Crash Team Racing, which is probably true, but give Mega Man a little credit, Capcom. People will throw money at Mega Man. Now make a new Mega Man game, and or shut down some fan game on today's edition of Pick Things Capcom is more likely to do. But yes, a Mega Man racing game, which may seem like an odd concept at first, but it's better than that soccer game for the Super Nintendo that makes my hands hurt, or that football game, I should say, because today is the European-themed game edition of the segment. And with that established, let's get into the deep lore of Mega Man Battle and Chase. Now, the game features no story whatsoever in the European version of the game, but Rockman Bataru and Chesu apparently did. A new hit show called Battle and Chase has been released. It is an extreme racing show that pays off a large amount of money to the winner, 10 million zenny. Soon, word reaches out to everyone, and many robots decide to enter for their own game, as opposed to yours. And it becomes a challenge where the stakes are high and the reward is higher. When word reaches Mega Man, he decides to enter to use the prize money to fix Dr. Light's computer and or buy drugs because he's on hard times. Uh, but that computer got broken after a thunderstorm because Dr. Light has no idea what a surge protector is. In the end of the tournament, Dr. Wily appears and steals the prize money away for his own evil purposes and the player must race against Bass and Wily to recover it, thus resulting in a happy ending, I assume. Of course, you're not limited to just playing as Mega Man in this game as we smoothly transition into the gameplay, as you can also play as Roll, Bass, Proto Man, Guts Man, Quick Man, Ice Man, Shadow Man, Napalm Man, Dr. Wily, and Duo who all feature unique abilities. Mega Man, for example, can shoot pellets and do a charge shot. Iceman can fire ice behind him or freeze opponents in front of him. And Springman can use two springs to spring the crap out of everything, which is actually way more useful than it might sound. The effect of your attack will depend on the meter at the top left side of the screen. When it's not full, you'll get a weaker attack, but when it is full, you'll get the stronger attack. So for Mega Man, weak attack, pellet, strong attack, charge shot. Aside from this, the game features various items that you'd expect from any kart racer. Though each character's unique abilities keeps this from feeling like a ripoff of Mario Kart 64 or Crash Team Racing, something that the game was accused of being on more than one occasion. And I'd just like to say, it's not a ripoff of either of those games. And if these so-called reviewers had spent more time with the game, perhaps they would have seen that. Some examples. The game features modes you'd expect from a racer, a Grand Prix, a multiplayer mode, time trial mode, good old options. But the way things such as the Grand Prix are handled change the formula of this racer completely, as a Mega Man flair exists within the game as when you defeat your opponents in battle, or, you know, racing, you take part of their car like how Mega Man would take a robot's ability in a traditional Mega Man game. And you can use these parts to completely customize your car to whatever your heart desires. And I found getting new parts for my car a really good incentive to keep playing the game, as opposed to simply unlocking more difficulties. 
Another large factor that separates this game from its contemporaries is that Mega Man Battle and Chase features no analog control, making use of only the D-pad, something that may sound like a game breaker or just really, really weird. And well, it certainly is awkward when you first play the game, after messing around with the game for a little bit, you'll find that the controls work pretty well and the gameplay isn't at all hindered by the lack of analog controls. They'd be nice, sure, but it doesn't ruin the experience. And moreover than those two things, it just doesn't feel like either of the games it's allegedly ripping off. The game can stand on its own two feet and or four wheels as a competent, fun racer, and the enjoyment doesn't end with the gameplay as the game looks and sounds amazing. Visually, the game is about what you'd expect from a game of this era. It's not the greatest looking racing game of all time, but it sure as hell tries, and I appreciate the little things, like the animations of the characters' portraits during the races. Stages do a great job of representing their respective racers, with elements pulled right out of Mega Man, like good old bottomless pits. And even the racers look pretty good, in my opinion anyways. The only real complaint I have regarding the visuals is the overall layout of the game's HUD, which features you at the top of the screen, a tiny screen below that which shows you behind your cart, and then a map that's right beside that, which is just, it's weird looking. And there doesn't appear to be any option to just make the screen full screen with the map in the corner, which is something I would have preferred a lot. Uh, despite this, it's hardly something that'll ruin your experience with the game as it's just one of those things you get used to. In fact, there are aspects to the presentation that will enhance your experience, with the main awesome thing being the game's music, which you've been listening to throughout this entire video. The tracks do a great job of getting you pumped up for some high octane racing action and follows in the tradition of Mega Man games having really great music. Sound effects are what you'd expect from a racer, and there's even a little bit of voice acting. In Japanese, but still, neat. Sadly, the European version of the game is missing some audio from the Japanese version, such as races being fully commentated on, which sounds awesome, though that would probably be a bit pricey to recreate, which is a shame, but it's still great for what it is. But that was Mega Man Battle and Chase, a fun if overlooked racer based on the Blue Bomber, a game I highly recommend for fans of the series, cause as far as spin-offs go, this one's pretty damn good in my opinion, and worth checking out. if you can manage to get it running through whatever means you have to. But that's enough fun for one day, because next time on Obscure Gaming, we're heading back into the dangerous waters of bootlegs. So may God have mercy on my soul. This has been Obscure Gaming. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, Yuri you Wind here, and welcome back to another edition of Enslate, the shortest ending to a video series that I've ever done. It's 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 late. I'm tired. I'm sorry, but hey, welcome to Enslate. Uh, how's it hanging? I hope things are going well. Uh, but enough of uh, these pleasantries. I think it's time we get into. The meat of End Slate, which is ending the slate. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do is recommend the last video I did on this channel, which was a gaming mysteries on some cancelled Nintendo 64 games. One of them was called Cabbage and was being worked on by Shikasato Itoi and uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, and it got cancelled because 64 DD kills everything. Uh, and then the other video I'd like to recommend is, uh, I'll recommend, recommend a playlist, because 
you know, it's it's that special time of the year. Um, it's gonna be a playlist for my Let's Play of Corpse Party because it's almost Spooky Finger Puppet Ghost Month. I didn't I didn't forget about the month. It's it's gonna happen. Uh, so just a warning. Um, and uh, oh yeah, uh, social media. Uh, down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see social media for myself and for Nico. I haven't heard from Nico in the longest time, but he still has social media, and he does the art, or he did the art. Uh, I have social media as well, uh, the, t the Twitter and the Twitch, uh, and I also have a Patreon, and it's because of that Patreon that I'm able to uh, continue making videos, and pretty soon make more videos more often um so thank you to all my patrons in fact i'm gonna thank patrons i don't know if it's patrons or patrons but i'm gonna thank them right now in the only way i know how by saying thank you so from the bottom of my heart thank you so much blinker Zero zero two, John Cohen, Xelanda Brooks. Oh wow, I'm gonna mess up a lot of things on this one. I apologize in advance. Uh, feel free to yell at me on my Patreon about how I said your name wrong, um, and then I'll try better next time. Uh, but thank you, Boltron, and thank you, Nick Kimberlin. Uh, thank you, Lily Starframe, uh, Ben Shaw, Mr. Mohawk, Nikki Batelli, to, to, and Nobi? Yeah, that's probably wrong. I'm sorry again. Uh, it's, did I mention it's late at night? Uh, thank you, Airman. Oh, for, for Mega Man? That's, that's, uh, appropriate. Uh, and it, I get distracted when I'm sleepy, I'm sorry. Thank you, Jose, and thank you, Kurai, uh, Amy Strange, uh, Stop Tio, uh, Kim Ellis, Harley Crawley, Layab547, Brian, Brandon Wilbanks, JJ Summers, Nikki Layman, Sally from Three Ice Cube Show, D Man's Land. Fun fact right now, I'm streaming right now and D Man's Land is in the chat. You can't see him, but take my word for it, he's in the chat right now. Um, so thank you, D Man's Land. Uh, and thank you, Jacob Sifford and Skyward Keyblade. I'm sorry. I messed that up. Um, Joseph Constantine, thank you as well. Uh, thank you, Nolan Not North. I can't have fun with that name anymore, but still, thank you. Uh, thank you, Christina, Andrew Orana, Aaron Brewington, uh, Crunchy Face. Thank you, Fernando Silva, uh, Rodrigo Derez, Beautiful Yoshi, Nat, Hannah B, Kyle, Nicholas, Jameson Wiley. Ooh. Again, again with the, this, this, this fits in with this video. Thank you. Um, but thank you, Ragnar the Green, Delis, Delissi, If I said that wrong, again, you can yell at me. Uh, thank you, Diego A. Lopez. Uh, thank you, Kyrie Flynn. Kyrie's your actually name, Mad Props. Uh, thank you, Dad. Oh, Dad. <laughs> thank you, Dale Savage, who is not my dad, but you know. Uh, Ryan Travis, Alec Dixon, a link to the Pat Pat. <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank you, Johnny Vaughn. Toon Gun, uh, Des Max, Gamer Two, C 
Chrome Party, Rebecca Twiskberry, Twi yeah, I screwed that up, I'm sorry. Uh, but thank you, John Paul Hore, Darth Penguin, Mark Ryan, Harmonia, Mitchell Shore, Brandon Alexander Cohen, Abdul Kareem Torres, Stabola. Why does that sound familiar? Well, thank you, Stabola. Thank you, the wheels and the bus go die, die, die. Uh, Erlen, sorry, Erlen Mattis Rees. This answer is going to go on for so long, it's going to anger people. But thank you, A.O. Breezy, Richard Lahiff, Greg Wolf, Vicious Phantom, Mr. Bowler, Robert, Brennan McKinnon, Sergio, Diego Martinez, Kashu. Kashiu, okay. Yeah, that's that's probably wrong. M Gamers, Mio Kuroshima, J Steria, Escape Route British, Rory O'Carroll, Kenpachi Ramasama, Anthony May, Squiggly Kit, Fat D. <laughs> I'm glad I got to say that. Um. Nice to have you back, Fat D. Miss ya. Uh, thank you, Eric Comacho, uh, Jonathan Klaus, Snooper. That's that's a good name. Uh, Ryan Cole, Jacob Epler, Tom Stopwatch, Problematic. Is that problematic? Problematic. That's right. Thank you, Problematic, and thank you, everyone. Who supports me on Patreon. I love each and every one of you. And without you. I wouldn't be able to keep doing this. Um, it's a little scary. That we're almost. At the full time goal. Where I'll be able to focus on this. As the name would suggest. Full time. Which is a lot of videos. Um, but at the same time. It's exciting. And it's still scary. Uh, let me just check and see how long this end slate's gone on for. Because, okay. Well, all, only almost nine minutes. So that's not too bad. That's only longer than the actual video. So that's pretty good. Uh, uh, so, hey, I'll see you all next time on end slate. Don't forget, Spooky Finger Puppet Ghost Month is coming up. Uh, in October, which is, it starts next week, so, yeah, but I love you all, uh, this has been Enslate, thank you for watching the video, I'm gonna go to bed before I say more stupid shit, uh, bye, I love you!